How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO and President of New Age Electric. I wanted to show everybody a quick tutorial on job, job allocation in Trimble Acu Acubit Classic Estimating Pro 15. Let's jump into it. So what you're going to see here is a sample project that I've done and I wanted to show you the importance of job allocation. So this is going to be your end result. I want to show you this first for you know what we're talking about and the importance of having your area and your total dollar per square foot area so first of all let's jump into extension I'm sorry takeoff first you want to click the system most important is to make sure you have every single system available in here to be able to select and that includes uh, subcontractor systems you may or may not be doing it yourself and I will show you the importance of that so hit close after you're done making these we'll jump into indirect labor so you want to make sure this is set up to something where you can justify allocating hours to so in this case I put this in incidental labor what you do is you see this three dot button if you click this you're gonna have a job setup cost allocation dialog box what you want to do is you hit system and this is incidental labor in your breakdown you should have an incidental labor labor selected here you hit a hundred percent whoops and now that's assigned to it you do that for every single one and then you'll know when it's finished is when you see a dollar sign next to it you will do this for every single tab uh, labor factoring labor escalation indirect labor here's your subs for instance this one this is I got excavation coring light poles CCTV you name it going in here system make sure you sign it I should have one called excavation so there's excavation uh, there's an access control IP access control so that is here's your a phone system the only ones you're you wouldn't have to do this for and I recommend you don't have to do it we'll split it up in the allocation for you is general expenses and equipment it's up to you you, you could do it just uh, I prefer not to quota material make sure everything's assigned accordingly lighting controls distribution any kind of exterior work final price key factors uh, plug in your square foot area of work and we'll go to breakdown now so how to get this screen so first thing you're gonna do is hit up here above breakdown view is add you want to click system and hit add and on here you want to prorate the unallocated items and that's where the general expenses and equipment comes um, unless you want to assign it to something called general expenses or equipment it's it's up to you I prefer I, I do it this way Hit okay and what this means is it's gonna distribute that amount and allocate it across the whole board so it'll make things a little bit more expensive but like I said this is something I prefer to do general expensive equipment is really not that much in a lot of jobs that I do unless I have to buy some heavy equipment so let's hit OK so what you'll notice on the bottom is you'll have a revised total a remainder and a final price what you want to make sure you look out for is the remainder so if there is a remainder shown somewhere across any of these breakdown tabs that means something's not allocated 
to the correct system. In this case, everything is allocated correctly. And the 8,870 is my square foot. And when you first do this, it will not carry this over. So what you do here is click in the, and make sure you click this for each one for this goes out right. Okay, so why am I showing you this? Well, over time, you're you're gonna start noticing that there are your your projects start to your bids start to become more repetitive. You know, they they they're real similar fixtures seem to be very similar uh, labor, and you know you want to start maybe you start losing jobs more and more and you're not when you're winning these less and less and you're only getting one out of 30. Well, you want to start coming back and start seeing what what am I doing wrong? Am I adding stuff are are these jobs you know, why is one higher than the other? And and this is a a good way to go back and check your estimate versus something that you took off a couple months ago that was the same similar job and then you're wondering why you were twenty thousand dollars higher on this one so this is a, a real important one right here which is your total dollar per square foot you can also based on your labor and your total so reason behind this if you have a chief estimator or a director estimator when he's reviewing this or even a project manager you do your own estimates these numbers should start looking very similar if you're taking off um, a lot of commercial spaces, maybe healthcare, or you're doing schools or industrial. These dollar per square foot should start coming similar on every job, and something will jump out if something is extremely high. So let's say in this case we have fixtures. Well, this is thirteen dollars a square foot. It, it, that's pretty high. So. You could come over here, look at your database material. That's all your pipe and wire. Your quoted material. That could be some of your switches. And this is your lighting controls. Uh, your fixtures, I'm sorry. Fixtures, lighting control. This is depending on how you're allocating this. And there's your total material for the job plus the labor to install it. If there's something wrong, you can always go back in your extension, check if something's weird. Um, that's a, a good way of double checking if there's something wrong. Maybe you got too many hours on a fixture, or you know, maybe you carried an extra one in labor. Um, I could show you what's going on. So let's let's say, for instance, branch wiring. So if you're taking off branch wiring, let's go in your extension um, takeoff, and we'll go to branch wiring. So let's say. This one right here is 54 hours. Well, when I was taking this off, let's say by accident, something was wrong on my keyboard or I had fat fingers and I put 77 conductors in this one pipe. So now I got 238 hours. So if you look at the rest of these, these are all 20s and 30s and 40s. So this looks right, but this one jumps out. Well, when you go in your breakdown, hit right click and reload. Uh, make sure everything goes back here. This sometimes this happens. And let's now go in your branch wiring. Uh, let me change this view, the reporting view, so this gets locked in place. So now it's saying that my branch wiring is $15 per square foot, which is extremely high. Um, 
that right there, as somebody who reviews these bids for multiple people over and over, that would jump out unless you personally looked at the bid <clears throat> and this was something that maybe had dedicated neutrals and you had an office and that office had six circuits per um had six circuits in there and you had to do two home runs for each office and then there was 50 offices so it it, it might make sense but in this case it, it it didn't make sense so what we can do is we can always go back in the branch wiring and just quickly just take a look you know if anything jumps out so ours look okay and we see one conduit that seems to be outrageous. We double click in there, we check it, make sure there's not a ton of different things, and and we see that the number of conductors is 77, where it should have been probably seven. Go back and finish, break down, hit reload. So now we're back at 12 so that took off three dollars a square foot and, and this can work for any systems um but like i said you're you're going to start noticing that uh, these systems are going to have very similar breakdowns unless there's a specialty or something is very different in this bid that makes it more expensive but you'll know that if you took it off and if you work with a director of estimating or chief estimator that you'll go over that in review and explain that hey this is why this is you know fifteen dollars a square foot or twelve dollars a square foot you know the the lighting package was crazy it was two hundred thousand dollars and um there wasn't many fixtures but it was two hundred thousand dollars fixtures they go okay and the lighting controls were a hundred thousand dollars so that would explain why this is so high um once again, if you guys got any questions, I can show you how to allocate. Um, leave some comments, shoot me an email, let me know if you need any help. And once again, Alfred Flores, New Age Electric, let me know. Thank you.